Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick update video on the problematic feature Acanthophus antarcticus female that I have. Uh, as you might remember from previous videos, she only fed uh, previously by a teeth feeding, which is basically hitting her on the head with the mouse for a while and you know making her bite. And she would only eat once every two weeks. Um, while her brother, on the other hand, is eating like weekly without a problem. Um, unfortunately, she is still at that stage. She is still not voluntarily taking food when it's left in her cage or when it's uh, you know presented to her outside of her cage. But um, there is at least a minor improvement, and that minor improvement is obviously the prey size, as you can see. She is now able to eat a nice decent sized hopper by herself after she bites it, obviously. Uh, which is quite nice because it will mean that she will gain size much quicker uh, compared to eating a couple fuzzies. Um, that's one thing. The other thing is, another improvement I would say is, uh, if she is hungry, which is again every two weeks, and if she just bites once and doesn't hold on like this and lets go, then you can just place her into her cage and once she settles, you can place the mouse into her cage and then she will go find the mouse and eat it. So that's sort of voluntary, but she still needs to, uh, you know, made angry enough to make the initial bite. Then she gets the feeding response. So that's the update. Um, I would say there is improvement, but I would expect her to be feeding by herself at this stage now after over a year of tea feeding. Unfortunately, we are not there yet. Um, but she is taking larger items and she is feeding at least every two weeks. And she start to feed uh, by herself in the cage once she bites the mouse. So, you know, I would call these improvements, obviously. Now, I don't know what she is doing right now with the mouse. So I'll just zoom it, zoom out a little bit. I guess she's trying to position herself in a way that she can swallow it. It's quite decent sized prey for her size, actually. So it may take a little time for her to be able to properly um, swallow the whole thing but I mean that's this is really my uh, best option for this girl because bigger the prey item faster she will grow and faster she grows I'm hoping that faster she will start to accept completely voluntarily feeding instead of just tease feeding uh, she's still spectacular this uh, color form is from the Sydney area uh, and she's beautiful red color uh, with lighter bands but uh, her sibling, her brother is or her future mate, let's say, is absolutely spectacular a dark red color compared to her and he is obviously much larger than her as well because he's feeding every week instead of every other week but uh, still she didn't die on me, still she's accepting food uh, and still she's growing so this is you know the positive side of things I would say and I'm glad that it stayed that way. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel and don't know what species this is, this is Acanthophis antarcticus, uh, the common death adder uh, from Australia. Uh, they are quite widespread around Australia. This uh, particular species come from, uh, I mean, the uh, specimen parents come from uh, the Sydney area. And uh, they are well known for their beautiful red color, which, uh, you know, puts uh, quite a hefty price tag on them, at least in Europe, as we don't have a decent supply in Europe, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, in essence, uh, it's a death header species with pure neurotoxic venom, which will basically cause the failure of the diaphragm muscle to work 
if given sufficient time and cause that by basically asphyxiation so quite you know significant venom i think number seven in this strongest list uh, so you gotta be quite careful when dealing with these animals in my personal opinion acanthophis is one of the easiest species to deal with because there is no doubt that they will strike at you if you get into their strike range as they are ambush predators unlike most other lapids so it's very simple you if you see the animal on one place at the cage don't just reach in near it and don't get into the strike range because there is no if spots or ends and ors you'll just get bitten so secure the animal first and then do whatever uh, maintenance you want to do in the cage and that's basically a fail safe method All right i think she's gonna take her time but i'm gonna show you what the male is doing male's cage is right here and male is aware that i am in the vicinity with mice present See, he's so well camouflaged in there. And what he's doing right now is unfortunately, okay, we can see it a bit better now. He's caught a luring. He was fed, uh, I would say five days ago, a decent sized meal, but he's still very into feeding and uh, he shows it as well to me and brings it to my attention. Unfortunately, he will not get anything else in, at least for another three days. Alright, um, uh, that was a short enough update, I think. Uh, these animals are absolutely spectacular, beautiful animals, and I hope the female will catch up soon, and we won't have to deal with all these issues. But in the meantime, I'm glad that she's still alive and feeding. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't for do not forget to comment and like and subscribe and all that, and tell your friends. And... Uh, advertise the channel a little bit so I can get some more views uh, I mean this is absolutely not cost effective I like sharing my videos on YouTube but I'm not making enough money on it to basically spend my time uh, so if you get more views even better thank you very much for watching and take care bye